but I'm not really doing anything else either. I'm just dithering, wasting time. Nothing's happening. And so I'm trying to get something done, but I'm doing nothing. Well, howdy, 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 near the senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends. And welcome to this, a brand new day. It is gray and cloudy outside. We are forecasted to reach into just the 70s today. It looks like the low 70s, but we'll have to see what actually happens. But much better than being hot, hot, hot. And last night, because it does get cold at night, I actually put a folded in half fleecy blanket on part of my bed so I didn't freeze and I have to keep my legs uncovered from the knees down or my legs cramp up but it, it worked out well and I got to sleep not wonderfully not for a great amount of time but at least I did that and that's good hopefully you have been able to sleep and have been comfortable as well thumbs up for that and of course, front-loading of videos. Hey, if you could toss me a like, that would be cool. And if you like what you hear and see, if you could subscribe, if you haven't, that'd be awesome. If you could leave me a comment, that would be double plus good. And I would like to thank each and every one of my Patreon patrons. These literally beautiful and literally awesome people are in fact literally beautiful and literally awesome. Without their help, I would be hosed like a literal Christmas monkey. And trust me, that is no way to be hosed. Uh -uh. If you'd like to help me survive, I have links to my Patreon in the video description. If you'd like to help me out without becoming a patron, there's a PayPal if you'd like to send a donation. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money, there's an Amazon wishlist link with stuff like cat food on it. Thumbs up for that. If you would like, I do have a post office box. I will open up on video anything sent to me from postcards, keychains, whatever you like. Thumbs up for that. And front loading a video is over. Yay! <laughs> uh. I did not get much done yesterday. Hokey smokes. Once again, executive dysfunction. I fell asleep for a time. Yay. And one of the problems with my executive dysfunction is I won't do something fun because I want to do something that's quote unquote important. So I'm not doing anything I enjoy, but I'm not really doing anything else either. I'm just dithering, wasting time. Nothing's happening. And so I'm trying to get something done, but I'm doing nothing, not even enjoying myself. So I gotta work on that so I don't just do that. But one thing that did happen, I've been talking to my therapist and there is a, a bit of homeless help on the VA website, one where you can hit chat to chat with somebody. And so I did that. And it was a waste of time. The person was just copy pasting questions and answers on their side. Just, it was, uh, I was answering the same question like three and four times, which is minor variations. It would be, so William, in Mason County, have you ever accessed any of the community services? And I go, well, no. Oh, well, for community services, have you tried any of those that are in Mason County? I, I, no, I, I just answered that. Oh, well, let me look up any community services things there for Mason County for you. What are we talking about? What's going on? So it was not fun. Didn't help. Thumbs up. So I'm going to keep working and trying, but I had therapy today as well. So I'm going to talk with my therapist, uh, which is good. My head up here ain't doing well. Once again, before going on to the medication change for the Wellbutrin, I had to go on a sub-subclinical dose, where instead of taking 75 twice a day, I was only taking 75 once a day to make it last. I think that did worse for me. Ugh. Thumbs up. Still though, life is life. And even though I fell asleep yesterday and I did some, you know, some minor things and tried to get other things done. I mean, I did at least go on walkies to Walmart. I got some food. Some people donated some money to me through PayPal for me to be able to buy food. And I did. So I've got food to last me till the end of the month. Thumbs up for that. 
I've tried to do as much creative thinking as I can, but with my head being a mess, the limits are pretty solid. There are some things that I have been trying to do, but let me check on the various lists, various lists, the list here and see what's going on with the rest of the world, what I might have typed in on my topics list. And the only thing that's here is, I can't remember if I mentioned, I actually watched on YouTube because Adult Swim put it on there, the Rick and Morty season six, episode one premiere. And I am not ashamed to say, there were times in that thing I actually cried. It was the true emotion will hit me and since I am socially stunted because of my alcoholism and such, I only know how to respond to emotion with tears. So happiness, joy, whatever, I get tears. Honest emotion depicted in media will get me. And I saw some honest emotion in that video and yeah, it just, I was in tears. But one of the things that I do quote unquote like and as well as dislike about the show is with multiverse stuff is once again if you're in the multiverse yeah rick and family you know in the show they treat universes and billions and trillions of lives as absolutely nothing and trivial they accidentally you know they go to rescue one of the family members and then there's an alien thing that bites one of them and the entire planet becomes this thing everyone on it the entire planet who knows the entire universe could probably become this thing and they just well time to leave and go find a new place because yeah if it comes to a multiverse you know with each tick of the Planck clock, which is the smallest unit of time, there are a near infinite number of universes being produced. If you screw up one of them, yeah, leave. You accidentally murder everyone in there, That there's plenty more where they came from. I mean, it sucks, especially for the people that get destroyed, but literally every moment, I mean, there are a near infinite number of universes if the multiverse stuff is correct, where the only difference between all these universes is the position of one quark on a grain of sand on a beach on a planet on the other side of the universe. You are variation A of a person performing variation B of an action and variation C of a universe. If there's multiverse theory and it's correct, well, I mean, there is multiverse theory. Well, a hypothesis, that's a, a tough one. But the math works, so who knows? We'll never know. Thumbs up for that. But when I jump into this other things, actually for a smaller degree here, I'm gonna talk about this one too. There are people that have no internal monologue. I watched the uh, MXR plays with this young couple, Jeannie and Henry. And Jeannie is one of those people that has no internal monologue. And my, the inside of my head, I cannot stop my internal thoughts. They are loud. I am always running an internal monologue. <coughs> <coughs> but someone like Jeannie has none. There are other people that can visualize things perfectly. I can get flashes of visualization. If I try to imagine what an apple looks like, I can get a brief flash of something red and then whoop gone or if i think of a granny smith you know roundish green and then it's i have no real visual way to see things i can see things verbally but not really visually it's amazing how the insides of our heads work but going on to various other subjects the creative things my cryptid and the razor's edge setting the big one that I want to talk about, again, I've, I keep going back to it, but there's people that vanish and there's new people. I mean, there's never many people that watch my stuff, but there are enough. And thank you very, very much. If you do, it is appreciated. Nobody forces you to, and I wouldn't force you even if I could. So the fact that you do watch what I talk about is awesome. Thank you so very, very much. 
<laughs> Let's see if I can remember where I was going with that because I remember I was talking about Razor's Edge, yes, and I talk about the Kaiju a lot when I talk about the Razor's Edge because it is a big and horrific thing, but at the same time, it's not really, I don't like it as a person. But as an author and someone who can step outside of that, I understand and I sympathize with the kaiju entirely while hating the way it reacts to the situation. Taking a look at this from the point, point of view of the kaiju, it is this that happened. They lived within an endless and infinite universe of possibility and potential. For the outside world, for this creative energy to manifest, it needs to arc in a very harmful fashion so it can discharge its creative energies. But for the context of what's happening here within it, it is just an infinite pool of possibility and potential. And the kaiju lived with everyone in it. You are a discreet individual, but you're also everyone else. You live in a discreet location, but you are also everywhere else. You live in one particular time, but time is simultaneous. This person, this kaiju was everything, and everything was the kaiju, and they were just part of this universe with loves and hopes and dreams. And when the two universes finally bumped up against each other far enough that they created a hole, that discharge of the creative energy snapped a 20,000 from side to side kilometer sphere that just completely separated this ball <clears throat> from the rest of the creative energy. The kaiju was caught in that. It was the first time a being like the kaiju had been caught and there had been trillions of doors that had been opened. And in the one trillion years since the kaiju has been caught, none other has been ever found, and there never will be another one. So again, is it the only one, or is it just the others have recognized what's happening and they don't get caught? But after this snap that separated the kaiju and however many trillions of individuals were inside that bubble, within the next 10 minutes, every living creature in that universe burned to death and then ashes. And since everyone is everyone else, the kaiju felt every single living thing in its universe burn to death and then ashes. It was not free of this. 60% of its body, its mind, its abilities, its talents, its soul burned away. And at the end of that 10 minutes, the rest of its blank, dead, austere universe that was left also burned into ashes, leaving it standing alone terrified in agony in an infinite plane of nothing with an ankle deep layer of ashes of everything that it had known and loved and dreamed and hoped and after five minutes those ashes stir again the bulk of them form a new material limited universe and then off the rest of the ashes life forms this universe is just, it is a, a parody of a real existence. It is mockery. It is a sham, just a cruel, cruel hoax of a reality. And the kaiju itself smashed down from a near infinite existence into the form of a physical creature that when it's inside of its hibernating form is only one city block in size and when it unhooks itself and steps out so it can walk it's still not much larger than it was just now it extends and takes up a bit more space than it did from infinite to over 60 percent of itself destroyed <clears throat> and then crushed into this physical form and it is desperate after all this occurs 
when this cruel sham of a universe around it is done, it is starving. It has a fire inside of it. So it tries eating everything, rocks, trees, water, air, metals, minerals, radioactives, inerts, nothing. And the fire is just becoming all consuming. This hunger will kill it. And then this largely hairless bipedal ape creature shows up and out of desperation the kaiju tries eating them and oh 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 that puts out the fire and so the kaiju eats the only thing that will keep it going us through experimentation in time through finding out what it can and can't do and what is happening and what is going on through the whole inside outside razor's edge the cruel mockery of an existence that it is forced into and that the ashes of everybody it loved that has now formed this physical universe that it exists in and these bipedal creatures the system is human centric so not only do these hairless apes live in the ashes of his former world but all of reality is geared to hand them a silver spoon on a silver platter it hates us it loathes us the fact that it requires on us for its own existence makes it hate us even more there is no room for anything inside of the kaiju but hate. And even that, bad as it is, if the kaiju was unable to hate us, then yeah, the burning and destruction of its universe would have stolen everything from it. This is all it has left. It's burning hatred for us. And even at that, again, I understand. But it is misplaced hatred. Because in this setting, humanity did not choose any of this. They did not choose for their the Kaiju's universe to burn. Humanity did not choose for this system to be a human-centric system. They did not ask for this. Humanity walked onto the stage and immediately got the producers, directors, the actors, the audience hating them and wondering, what did we do? So yeah, that is the existence of the Kaiju. I understand why it hates. But it takes it, of course, too far and always will. And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. Going to go through and thank how many people have left me comments in the past 24 hours. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. And even though I count American Sign Language, well, <laughs> well, oof. We have Jesse Koskinen. Always good to see you in the comments. And I sincerely hope that you enjoy your two weeks off. Hokey Smoke's always a good thing. And I really do enjoy the GZ Doom engine and playing all these game all these doom wads in the upgraded engine it's cool we have j a double y thumbs up and thank you and god i hate coughing ugh confused owl 29 always good to see you in the comments and it works to do the micro stepping so do give it a try and again good to see you in the comments <laughs> bird turgler thumbs up thank you very much ian bocus who actually does have a good point i did not do a good job of reacting to a lot of videos and songs back in my early reaction times i was so broken i did a very poor job on a lot of songs and the uh, this one song about uh, Jimmy and I think it's My Chemical Romance. Yeah, I did a poor job on that. We have Chris, thumbs up and thank you. Good to see you. Adrian, F-N-T-E-S, thumbs up. And hey, you know, uh, Praying Mantis is awesome. <laughs> I My brain is fried. We have Ben B, always good to see you in the comments. And 
Yeah, you got to do what you got to do to make it work. Tommy Nilsson, thumbs up and thank you. We have RJ Mitchell, greatly appreciated, and I'm going to give it a shot. I do want to actually record some of my solo RPG stuff as soon as I can figure out how to do it. All I have is webcams for my computer and my PS4, so i got to figure out how to set that up. And that is it. Ten people who left me comments in the past 24 hours to get me out of my head and into the world and dealing with real people, if only in text and if only for a short time, but it is appreciated to no end. And again, if you've watched this far, thank you so very much. Again, I can't force you, wouldn't want to, even if I could. It is appreciated that you watch and or listen. Thumbs up and thank you so very much. I have therapy today. As I'm looking at my clock, less than half an hour from now, I'm going to be talking to my therapist. So this is going to be going online late. Hopefully you can get done some of the things that you need to get done. Again, if you can't, don't beat yourself up and don't just try not to, to beat yourself up. That's all I can say. There's no need. It doesn't help. Oh, excuse me. And of course, with all the diseases out there, it doesn't matter which disease, it doesn't matter if it's a pandemic or if it's just a cold or it's tuberculosis or it's anything at all. You don't need to catch anything that you don't need to catch. So please take appropriate precautions for your situation and location. So until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side and that is a very good thing.